guys, it's Sarah and I'm here with my second layout using my January hip kit. This is going to be an 8.5 by 11 layout that's going to go in my husband's and mine dating album that I'm, I'm slowly working on. So um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this really pretty gold foil arrow paper and I'm cutting it down to 8.5 by 11. And I want the center of those arrows to kind of be on the bottom towards the left hand side so I kind of had to measure my paper to make it like that otherwise it would have been more in the center if I had just cut it straight so I kind of was doing that there. And what I'm doing is I'm going through my kit here. I kind of know a couple of the things I want to use but I'm just going to see what else I want to and I'm deciding that this is going to be my title here. These are chipboard letters from a crepe paper chipboard sheet and that's going to end up being my title. I really like how they're two-toned. They're pink on the top and gold on the bottom. I'm also going to grab this little floral cluster here and I'm just going to go with that for now. So I had decided that I wanted to use this really pretty dark paper here. This is from my mind's eye as well and I'm going to use that to mat my paper or my picture, sorry. And um, on the opposite side there are some typewriters and I'm going to cut out a yellow typewriter to use as an embellishment as well. And I'm trying to bring out the dark pink and the yellow in that little die cut there. That's from LA Studio. It says always and forever. That did not come in the kit, but it's something I kept with this picture because that always and forever is kind of our motto that my husband and I use, and we definitely use it on our wedding day, and we still use it today. So I wanted to make sure that I used it in this album. This picture was taken right before my husband went to basic training for the Air Force and then uh, we got engaged at his basic training graduation a couple months later so this is going to be kind of towards the end of our dating before our engagement. So I went ahead and fussy cut a little yellow typewriter to help bring out the yellow in the die cut there. It doesn't really have any specific meaning but it's yellow and so I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> This heart paper here that I'm putting down is from Crepe Paper, and that came in the kit. And I'm just going to go ahead and get my layers down here, because I like the way that it's going. And I used that lighter pink on the bottom there, and that is the B side of the arrow paper as well. I'm going to go ahead and put this typewriter up on foam dots, or foam squares, I guess you could say. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just going to put it in the corner here. And sip my coffee. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. This could kind of serve as maybe a little bit of a subtitle as well. I'm not going to actually do any journaling on this page. Um, there's not really a specific story to the picture. Um, I mainly wanted to highlight the always and forever because that is something that we say to each other all the time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this chipboard floral right over top of that. And then my title is going to go right above my picture. And I'm using my quick dry adhesive on the chipboard. It is adhesive on the back, but um, honestly, it doesn't always stick very well. I've had some of these chipboard pieces fall off my layouts before, so I always reinforce them. Okay, so I like the way that that's looking, and now I'm going to go through the rest of my kit here and see what else I want to use. Um, there is a brad off of that My Mind's Eye um, package there, and it has a pink ampersand in the middle, so I'm going to put that in the middle of the O here, and I'll just highlight the ampersand as well. And then I'm going to put a piece of washi tape on the back of it just to keep it from snagging my page protectors and other layouts on my album. And I believe I'm going to pull out um, some My Mind's Eye rub-ons that came in the kit as well. And I'm going to think about what I want to use here. And I decide I'm going to go for the smaller butterfly. Now, this packaging is really strange. I had never encountered packaging like this before. It does have a layer on the back to protect the rub-ons, but it's clear. Um, so I was kind of confused at first. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, where's the backing? Is, are these going to rub off on everything? But the backing is clear, so that was pretty interesting. It took me a second to realize that. 
I kind of like it because you're able to cut them out and, you know, really move them around without having something, you know, really obscuring it. But it was just kind of interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> I was a little bit confused. I'm also going to cut out a couple of these hearts here on this rub-on sheet and I'm going to uh, use those as well. I'm just going to cut out a darker heart and then two lighter pink hearts. So I'm going to use one on the typewriter right here. And then I'm going to use another one on the die cut right on the ampersand. I'm going to use a darker one there. I'm having to peel the backing off of it. <laughs> and then the third one I'm going to use up on the floral um, chipboard there. It blends in a little bit. You can definitely see it better um, in person, but it's a cute little detail. And then that's going to be it, guys. I think about maybe trying to back um, the layout with that darker pink paper there, but I just I didn't have enough room. There wasn't enough, so um, it didn't work. But I'm happy with the way that it is, so I'm just going to leave it. And um, I'm going to slip it into my album here soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will leave a link to the Hip Kit Club website in the description if you want to go check them out. Their kits are awesome. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.